if we think what is needed for the deep tech startups, then definitely there are the founders, the talent that is needed, and the other significant component are the funders, the financiers. But these are not the only critical components. I would say that uh, we have some parts of the ecosystem, but definitely not all of them. We have uh, some talent, some founders, who have been able to build those technology companies and some positive experience with the funding as well. If we think what we lack currently, then definitely we lack the big companies because uh, several funders think that what would be the end of the investment period and usually that will be an exit. So that the investors are not so much in the investment business, but they are in the exit business. And we definitely lack the service providers and support organizations that are somehow deep tech specific, who have the networks and the experience and the knowledge how to build successful deep tech companies. If I could stress a couple of areas where we can put more focus on, then probably cooperation is one of those so that uh, Estonia can get into the large networks. And that is, for example, opening the doors um, of uh, big companies that actually can, can um, fuel that innovation. Because um, it takes a lot of time and a lot of money to reach the market. And if you think that, how can we accelerate reaching the market, that is probably the most important question to be solved. Deep tech is hard in, and it takes time and we cannot solve all the issues with IT only. We need materials, for example nanomaterials, uh, we need uh, different kinds of technologies that are related to, to hardware, not only to software. And that's why we have to focus on deep tech as well. And the other reason is that we don't have a choice. Because uh, if you think that Estonia is a small country, and we don't have the raw materials, for example, to excavate. What other choices would we have? We have the talented people and the ability to be very agile so that we can actually be a test bed for other countries also, but for also other networks of different technologies. We can show that Estonia can be a very good place, be open mind positively attracting the talent and also having the supporting legislation in order to have those processes very transparent, but also to have that agile approach of developing the technologies. So I hope that eventually Estonia will be a deep tech country, so that in 10 years we won't have only one unicorn, but several unicorns. And I think that by the time the definition of the unicorn is not so important anymore at all. So that whether it's, uh, we, are, we will be speaking about techacorns, so that it's not uh, one billion, but 10 billions, for example, the value that we are looking at, and that is even not important. So that we have to think that how can we use the technology in order to sustain the world. So, and I hope that all those technologies that will cooperate and work together for will help us to tackle the climate crisis, for example, so that we wouldn't have those uh, big fires and, and uh, flooding and all kind of uh, world problems. So that I hope really that the economic model in 10 years will help the world to generate not the profits, but the stability and the balance in the world.